All right, so today we're going to talk about care and maintenance for CO2 pistols. And there's a couple different types we have to pay attention to. So first of all, you have the kind that has the magazine. And in the bottom down, there's a little seal where it actually punctures the CO2 cylinder. Uh, so what we're going to do is it's very, very simple. All you're going to do is take your bottle here, put a little drop of CO2 on top of that. And I'll actually go through and do this for you guys so you guys can see how it works. You put a drop just on the top. And then when we drop the uh, cylinder down inside here, We'll set it on top, it'll actually lubricate where that puncturing device is in the bottom. Then you have the other type where the back half of the pistol will open up, and this is in the Smith & Wesson uh, pistol here. You actually open this up and you can actually see it. And some people ask the question, can I just dump the oil right on top of it? You can. You can actually just take a drop and put it right in on top. So let's go ahead and do it with this one here. We'll start with the Glock. Put a drop just right on top. I don't know if you can see that. It's just kind of floating right there. Drop it down on top and then you start your thread. And now we spin it backwards just a tad to get it started so you don't cross thread it. So when I get down there, I feel a little bit of pressure. At that point, I just take it and and I can, you can kind of hear this little psh as it fills up. Then I'll replace the floor plate, put that right back on top, and then we can place it right inside the pistol and it's ready to go. Uh, what I would also do, if you, this is a Glock 17 that we're using today. So if you want on the Glock 17, you can actually pitch this back. If you want to put a drop of oil on the rails, any point that you have a connection point, you can even drop a little bit through the side here. You can see some, some spots here that you might get wear. On the top, you can actually drop a little bit of oil on, on this one here and put the slide forward. We can see a little bit of wear on top. You might just put just a tad bit up there. And what that does over time, you don't want to put tons because it'll collect dirt. But what it'll do is over a period of time, uh, it'll help to lubricate this and uh, keep it operating smoothly and freely uh, so you don't have to, to uh, worry about it hanging up. So this one here is the in-grip type, which not a lot of people have seen. Uh, if you have one, then you know about it. But same thing, I can actually drop it either inside directly onto it if I want. I don't normally do that just because of the fact if I drop it in there, if you get the oil on the side, it's just another place to collect dirt and you don't have to wipe it out. And the other thing you can do just for a little cleaning tip, if you look down there, there's a lot of dirt in there. You can just grab yourself a Q-tip, wipe down on the inside and clean it up. So I'll put another little drop on top. Doesn't have to be a lot. And then this one here, if you can see, I'm just going to take it and slide it into position. So with this type here, I'm going to close the back portion of this handle as I get ready to open it up and I'm going to tighten this down. And it's best if you keep the gun aiming downward. I put a little pressure on the cylinder here, and I'm just going to start turning. If you can see on this model here. And you hear that little pssst, that means it's locked into place. And you don't have to over tighten this thing or crank it down. Uh, at that point, you can just move this forward, put the floor plate back in place, and then snap the back half on there, and then you're good to go. This thing's ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is charge it, and it's ready to go. So that's your, uh, your CO2 pistol maintenance tip. Just take some time. It doesn't take you very long. Just do this. You don't have to do this every single time. Uh, I would say if you're doing it with the balls, it's every probably twice, maybe two or three times that you shoot the pistol, you can put the, the drop on there if you want uh, to do it and then lubricate all the points of contact on it. It'll be great. With that, I'm Aiden Hans. If you want to follow me on Texas, uh, if you want to follow me on uh, Instagram, it's TX Hog Dude. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Aiden Hansen Official. And other than that, you guys have fun slinging lead.